Hi everyone, it's Kathy and I'm back with a new ring bound junk journal. This one measures six by seven and a half inches and has 24 pages, not counting the front and back covers. You'll see from the front cover, there's a lot going on. Um, the covers were made with uh, chipboard and the front cover was designed using some crocheted lace, um, doily background. Uh, we, I also have some corrugated card, some other lace, some eyelet, um, and then there's some um, pretty flowers and a frame with a vintage image. And then this frame opens up and you could put photos in there or you could write a little note to someone if you want to give this journal away. And it's um, magnetized so it'll stay closed. There's also some buttons, more lace, and then the rings are trimmed with a lot of silk ribbon and there's also a pretty little charm here some lace, some eyelash trim. So it's really nicely um, accented on the rings. Okay, so let's go inside. The inside front cover has a lace pocket. And then there is a altered file folder. And you could do some journaling, several pages here for journaling. On this page is a pocket, and there's a little tag with a button, some film strip, a tag, another tag that says number one, and then an altered. I believe this is an inventory tag. Um, okay, and the next page is a background is page from an old children's book. And then you have a cute little vintage image there. And this page has a couple of pockets. has a pocket here on the top with a tag. And then another pocket with a couple of pieces of ephemera. And then one of those fabric strips from Tim Holtz. On the next page has a linen pocket with some buttons and a fabric tag. It's just a collage of different fabrics. And then you can journal on the back of that. On this page has another page from a child's um, speller, I believe, or reader, not sure. And there's a little, tiny little key there. You can see that, some lace, a daisy flower, and some more crocheted lace, and a, another button, and a cute little image. Again, this can be removed and you can just put it in any photo or image that you like. And the next page has a pocket. This was created out of an envelope. And then a tag with some lace, some buttons, flower. Good for journaling on the back of that. And the next page has another beautiful image with some linen background. And then inside that is a little journaling spot. It's um, a little booklet with lots of pages, some coffee dye pages you can see. Um, that's a good, a good journaling spot.
and then a piece of a beautiful applique tulip with some embroidery and then a little pocket with a tag and then a tuck spot with an altered coin envelope and a little journaling card inside. Oops. I guess you can put your own journaling card. And then on this page is a large pocket with a cute little envelope. Flips down, you could jot some notes on there. And then behind there is a large tag with another little pocket and you can see how pretty that coffee dye tag is and a couple of pieces of ephemera just tuck those in there and on this page there's a pocket again with the base of a children's book and then inside that is made out of sewing tissue. You've got some lace and a piece of an old quilt. And you just open that up and you can journal on those pages. And here we have a altered flashcard You've got some sorry silk, lace, and a couple of vintage buttons. And on this side, you've got a piece of a doily and some um, washi tape. And on this page is a large pocket with a um, large piece of um, ephemera and you could write on that as well you could pretty much put in here a few things envelope is quite big and then on the back is a vintage advertisement and on this page is a lace pocket with another altered little file folder more pages for journaling. And then this opens up. And you've got a large um, booklet. I don't even know if it's you can get all of it in here. And then another pocket with the tag. So great spot for some more journaling. And in the back, some doilies and a flower and another advertisement. And then on this page is a muslin pocket that's been stamped with that Tiffany stamp. And inside the pocket, is a, another little booklet. Got a piece of an old quilt again, a rusty pin, some lace. It's been stitched all around. And then you've got pages for journaling. And then another rusty pin at the top. And on this page is a little flip up with a pocket and a tag. Pretty butterflies. And then we have a cute little girl with a glassine bag and then another tag. Then on this page is kind of a 
collage of some doilies, some lace, flower, and then a little tag and a piece of ephemera. Then on this page, there's a little pocket from a film strip with some more tags. And then in the back is another larger tag with some paper dolls. And then on this page is another linen pocket with a rusty pin and one of those, I forget what they're called, uh, a charm, it says noted. And on the top is another little tag. It's been stamped. And then another booklet for more journaling. So this journal has a lot of room for you to write. Uh, sometimes you think it's decorated so much, but there are plenty of spaces for journaling. And then the inside back cover has an altered library pocket with a cute little image. And then some vintage buttons. And then the back is just plain. So again, there you have my latest ringbound journal. It can be purchased by contacting me at kathycadeal at yahoo.com. I'll give you all the details. Uh, again, thanks so much for watching and for all your kind comments, messages, and interest. I hope everybody's doing well. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure you subscribe and tap the bell notification so you can be notified when new journals are posted. Thanks again, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.